How you doing? This is New Way, New Way. Welcome to this next video. Um, we're talking movies again. So, this next movie, um, I'm, I'm sorry to say, memory is shit, and I don't remember exactly how I got introduced to it, but I do believe to some extent that it was, uh, again, just like the last movie, um, just like around the world, the, just like around the world in 80 days, I believe it was introduced to me through the cartoon uh, networks, the networks for the cartoons, and they, I believe they must have played that one of those nights, and then I just fell in love with the movie. Now, here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is the movie, Ratatouille. Ah, okay, that, that, that. okay, Ratatouille. Came out in this movie came out in two thousand seven and is it's about a character uh, about a character named Remy who wants to be a chef because he has fallen well, I don't want to say fallen in love but he has become very fascinated with human cooking culture with very not culture with human uh, humans who are able to cook and all this stuff he becomes in very um what's the right word for it i don't want to say smitten he likes to cook he likes to cook and he you know he lives in a specific house that you notice in the beginning of the movie with uh, his father and his brother and with the clan there and he has a very unique sense of smell and taste he knows it um and he takes advantage of that and he, you know, tries to cook whenever he can a mushroom with some sweet grass, with uh, some rosemary and saffron. You know, he tries to experiment. He finds a cookbook by uh, Chef Gusteau. You know, he has all this fun doing it and it just, him and his father always have this sort of going back and forth because Remy wants to be honest and true he doesn't want to steal garbage he doesn't want to do all this stuff his father says we need to survive and he goes and Remy says I understand we need to survive but I want to at least create I don't want to just survive I want to be able to create something and um, it's very fun now I'm, again I, I I need to learn to stop saying point by point by point I'm going to just give you my general idea because I do want to make this, uh, I do want you to be able to experience this on your own. And, you know, I don't want to give you full on things. So, it's it's a very fun story, very creative story, very touching story, and very, a story that, uh, what was the term? Uh, one of the characters said it. Uh, not everyone can come not everyone can become a great chef but a great chef could come from anywhere i uh, i like that scene a lot now me personally when it comes to cooking i have very specific um i have very specific uh tastes i guess is the proper way to say it, or very very specific minds in my head uh or things in my head so, uh, theories, ideas, plans. I'm very odd when it comes to cooking. Uh, for those of you who know me personally, I think you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, when I cook, it tends to be very specific. Um, you know, uh, you know. for example, when I make a soup, I'll put the, the vegetables I want to be able to eat. I'll put the things I want to be able to have in that soup. Uh, when I make sandwiches, for example, when I make pasta, uh, when I make salads even, when I make um, specific desserts for myself, all this stuff, it just, I, I won't, dis I won't uh, say that I'm a good cook or anything, but I like it, I guess, whatever that means, right, there's no way I could be on a top shelf or, a top chef or anything, but I'll still have fun. Um, then honestly, the the fact that Remy goes into Paris, he goes into the Chef Gusteau's uh, restaurant. He meets a 
he uh, he wants to become a, a cook. There's a, a small little situation where everyone thinks that a specific cook named um, Linguini makes the soup, but Linguini notices it's not him. He can't cook, obviously. He sucks at it. So, excuse me. He sees that Remy can cook. And they get a chance to work together. They get a chance to really impress the people in the in the in the kitchen. They're very cool characters. The the boss, the head chef there, is a bit of a hard ass. But to be to be personally, I um, I've never been that type of guy to go to those kind of restaurants. Not because I'm I'm too good for it. No, it's not the case. It's just Something about those those restaurants, I've never had the draw to. You know what I mean? I, I've never been drawn to it. Um, I, I, I'm I the type of guy when if I go to a restaurant, I try to have fun. I don't go to it so I could dress up and have the most, you know, elaborate and, 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 and creative cooked, you know, foods. I mean, no disrespect to anyone, but it's just that's that's how I personally am, you know. I, I find that th th there's a scene in the movie where someone eats something and reminds them of their childhood, right? Uh, uh, what was the, I believe Ratatouille was the, um, Ratatouille was the name of the dish. And I believe it's, what was it? Um, hold on, I want to look this up. What was it made out of? I'm trying to remember. It's the it's the cuisine that was served. Uh, ratatouille. Give me the give me one second. Hold on. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. This is this is bugging. Hold on. Uh, it's it did that that dish. I don't think I've ever had it. Um, but I might have had um. I am European, so I I believe we maybe maybe someone else can help me answer this, but I think we uh, we did have specific foods, maybe kind of the same as it. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Com with some some common ingredients. Okay, I found the recipe of it. Uh, this is a certain common ingredients. If you have your own, you have your own. Uh, ingredient include tomato, garlic, onion, zucchini, eggplant, and bell pepper. A combination of leafy green herbs common to the region. Okay. Uh, I might have had something similar to that when I was growing up. Uh, I'm I'm Bulgarian, and I believe this was a. French dish, yeah, because it was made in France, so I think so, but I don't know if the palate moved over to Bulgaria or not. I don't know. Maybe it did. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I don't know. But. It's it's it is honestly when I see that dish, it when I see that dish, ow, when I see that dish, it really kind of makes me appreciate the, those kind of meals that were served when you were younger. Um, excuse me, whether it was by your parents, whether it was by your grandparents, whether it was by your friends, whoever it was, your friends' parents, whatever, right? Um, the, the, those kind of dishes always have that kind of, it's not sim simplicity, but it's, it's a, it's a combination of flavors that, that really have a home feeling, if that makes sense. At least that's the best way I can describe it. It has a very strong home feeling to me. Um... And I did, um, one more thing I'll say about this video, before, so I want to wrap this up for you. One thing about this movie is that um, I put up a video on the channel regarding the critic uh, scene. I am a critic. Um, 
being a critic has its ups and downs. Me personally, I, I don't think I'll, even though, I guess I am a critic, but I'm not the correct kind of critic that everyone else is. And this is not my, this is not me saying I'm better than you. No, it's just, I'm not. I, trust me, I'm not. But there's specific things about being a critic that I can do or can copy or, or have or whatever the case. But it's very small. It's very limited. I tend to be a critic of the sense of I don't have that kind of I don't know if it's negative criticism. I don't have that kind of thing that, that is easy to write. I tend to be a type of person who explains something, talks about it, says what he likes, and moves on. If something I don't like, I'll mention something about it. I'll say, oh, this happened or some, whatever the case. But genuinely, that's how I am. I tend to be that kind of person. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass and being stupid. I don't know. Whatever the case whatever anyway very cool movie critic here very cool movie um if you get a chance if you have seen it please let me know you know if you want to at least and somebody's calling i'm busy okay so That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you hope you hope you enjoy this. Uh, hope you enjoy this movie as much as I do. That's 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 the hope. So, and uh, if you ever have one more thing before I let you go, have you ever had something similar to um, the ratatouille dish uh, in your own you know your own life? Um, if you feel comfortable enough to tell me, feel feel free to. For me. Uh, I don't remember what it was called specifically, but it was a dish I believe my mother or grandmother made that had, what was it? I don't remember the name of it. I'll have to ask my siblings for it, uh, my sisters. I don't remember what it was called, but it was that one with, <sighs> shit, I don't remember what it was called. I gotta, I gotta talk to them, I gotta figure it. I gotta talk to him and figure it out. But there was a specific dish with vegetables, I remember. Uh, certain herbs. Shit, my memory is crap. I don't remember what it was, but I'll, I'll talk to them uh, and see what they if, see, if, see if they can drop my memory. Because my memory is bad. So, that's it. Have fun. Bye.